So, Elon Musk said he is all in to save the Russian cosmonauts. How is he gonna do that? Elon Musk, whom we already know as the very famous CEO of SpaceX, made the announcement on February 21st that his company's upgraded Dragon spacecraft would be able to carry out rescue missions for Russian cosmonauts. Well, the thing is, the Dragon had previously only been authorized to transport American astronauts to and from the ISS, which stands for the International Space Station. Their talks with SpaceX still need to be conclusive. However, Steve Stitch, the program manager for NASA's commercial crew, stated that the Shield Boost concept was recently brought up at a regularly scheduled meeting for the new commercial crew on Tuesday, January 24th. Okay, this is surely making us excited. What do you guys think about this? Well, the Dragon spacecraft has been designed to be reusable and launched on top of a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. It's made to transport crew and cargo to and from the ISS to carry out a rescue mission. The upgraded Dragon now includes additional communications and life support systems. SpaceX, an American aerospace company, developed and produced the Dragon 2 class of partially reusable spacecraft primarily for flights to the International Space Station. SpaceX is also launching an exciting private mission like Inspiration 4 and the Axiom Mission 1. So, there are two variations of this. First is the Cargo Dragon, an improved version of the original Dragon 1, and then there's the Crew Dragon, a spacecraft that can carry four crew members respectively. There's a trunk module that can be used and a space capsule that can be used again. The spacecraft takes off from a Falcon 9 Block 5 rocket and the capsule splash downs back to Earth. The spacecraft comprises a reusable space case and an extra trunk module. Whoa, that is nice. The improvements in the Dragon 1 capsule. Musk also announced a video conference call with Roscosmos representatives. Musk stated that the upgraded Dragon was fully capable of performing any rescue missions that the Russians may need. There are some improvements over the Dragon 1 capsule. SpaceX claims it can carry 50% more scientific payloads. In addition, the new Dragon can automatically join the space station. The prior version required berthing. A crew member on board the ISS would use a robotic arm to grab the approaching capsule and move it onto the open docking port as it gradually approached the ISS. Dragon 2 docks and attaches itself to the ISS without human assistance. This announcement is part of SpaceX's ongoing effort to establish partnerships and operations outside of NASA and the United States. SpaceX can now provide its services to Roscosmos and other international space agencies. What led to build Dragon SpaceX? A small hole was blown into a Russian Soyuz spacecraft in December 2022. NASA officials said they're considering asking SpaceX to improve the shielding on its Crew Dragon capsule. When it was hit, most likely it was by a micrometeoroid, the Soyuz was docked at the International Space Station, or the ISS, where it's still located. The impact resulted in a coolant leak, making the MS-22 Soyuz vehicle unsuitable for transporting astronauts home except in an emergency. This made the upgrade for the SpaceX Dragon in orbit to transport the additional astronaut back to Earth if necessary. NASA intends to transfer astronauts, such as Frank Rubio, from the Russian Soyuz spacecraft to Endurance. Due to coolant links on the MS-22, it has been determined that this spacecraft is unsuitable for astronauts returning to Earth. The Safety Concerns NASA officials stated on Wednesday that several safety concerns were considered before the agency approved Rubio's seat liner for the transition from the Soyuz MS-22 to the Endurance. These concerns included ensuring that SpaceX vehicle had enough oxygen, reducing carbon dioxide emissions, and landing safely. SpaceX initially designed the Crew Dragon vehicle to accommodate seven people. However, Endurance had four seats and clever repurposing of supplies needed to secure Rubio as an unexpected fifth crew member. Roscosmos, Russia's space agency, has chosen to return the MS-22 crew members to Earth by sending an empty Soyuz into space on February 20th. The trip is anticipated to take place in September, approximately six months after the trio's initial planned date for homecoming. SpaceX's Sarah Walker stated in the advertisement that the company shares the objectives of NASA. In addition, Walker, director of the Dragon Mission Management, emphasized that all analysis to date have demonstrated that Endurance, the Crew Dragon currently docked at the ISS, is performing satisfactorily. SpaceX Crew-5 Launch SpaceX's Crew-5 launch on October 5, 2022, brought Endurance and its four crew members to the International Space Station against clear skies. NASA had stated that in a pinch, a fifth astronaut could be placed on Endurance for return to Earth. 
In the event of an emergency requiring the ISS to be evacuated, Roscosmos officials claim that the damaged Soyuz MS-22 could accommodate two of its three crew members. However, there would be no coolant, so the ride back to Earth would be warm. Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patalin, cosmonauts, would travel that way on the MS-22. In a lifeboat scenario, NASA astronaut Frank Rubio, the third crew member, would join the four Crew-5 astronauts on endurance. NASA officials said on Wednesday that before approving Rubio's seat liner for the move from the Soyuz MS-22 to endurance, the agency considered several safety concerns. These concerns included ensuring that the SpaceX craft contained sufficient oxygen, that carbon dioxide emissions could be minimized, and that the landing would occur safely. SpaceX initially designed the Crew Dragon vehicle to carry up to seven people. Be that as it may, Perseverance was equipped with only four seats and getting Rubio as a startling fifth crew member required shrewd reusing of provisions in the circle. You'll be surprised to know that Crew-6, which is a NASA rotation mission carried out in a SpaceX spacecraft, will be the next crewed launch to the International Space Station. Andrei Fedyev of Russia, Warren Woody Hoberg of NASA, Stephen Bowen of NASA, and Sultan Al Nayadi of the United Arab Emirates stand before a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. During the press conference on Wednesday, NASA Associate Administrator Kathy Luders referred to the launch of the empty Soyuz vehicle as one of the busiest increments in the history of the station. The Crew Flight Test one of many scheduled crew flights to the International Space Station in the first half of 2022 is Crew Flight Test, the first astronaut mission for Boeing's Starliner capsule. Crew 6 of SpaceX and AX-2, Axiom Space Second crewed mission to the orbiting laboratory. Suppose anything happens to the ISS prior. MS-22 can be used as a lifeboat as the seat liner maneuver can safely take two astronauts down instead of three in some conditions. What came of it? NASA authorities provided information on their website as the changes made allow for the increased crew protection by reducing the heat load inside the MS-22 spacecraft for cosmonauts. Prokopia and Petalin, in an emergency, returned to Earth. So the MS-22 spacecraft's astronauts Frank Rubio and two other cosmonauts were scheduled to travel back to Earth in Soyuz MS-22. Astronauts Nicole Mann and Josh Cassida, Flyer Koichi and Anna are expected to travel back to Earth using Spacecraft X. This capsule will not be the only Dragon attached to the ISS when it reaches the space station. On November 15th, SpaceX sent a crew of four aboard a second Dragon capsule to the ISS. A day later, the capsule docked with the space station. This indicates that two Dragons will be docked at the ISS once this flight takes off. During a pre-flight press conference, SpaceX Director of Dragon Mission Management Sarah Walker stated, It will be the first time that there are two Dragons on the space station simultaneously. The fact that their return flight on the following Soyuz will launch without a crew justifies the MS-22 crew's mission extension. If Rubio, Pavel, and Petalin return to Earth, there will be enough people on the ISS once a crewed Soyuz can be prepared for launch. Alright then, this is a significant development for both SpaceX and the international space community because it demonstrates the potential for private companies to play a larger role in the future of space exploration and highlights the growing significance of international cooperation in space exploration. The future is here.